a very good evening class 12th today's class is about an important named reaction known as the rima thiamin reaction this reaction is for phenol so it lies in the chapter of alcohols phenols and ethers there's a playlist on my channel by seema makijani so just go to the youtube watch the channel on seema makijani go to the playlist of alcohols phenols and ethers you will get a lots of videos on the reactions of phenol including the acidic character nitration bromination esterification details of lucas test as well as grignard's reagent please keep liking subscribing and sharing it with other student groups thanks a ton bless you loads beginning on with the rima thiamin reaction as far as the cbsc is concerned you just have the reaction in your syllabus but i would also be doing the mechanism for the same the reaction involves phenol is first treated with a strong base this strong base could be naoh could also be koh the purpose of reacting it with a strong base is to form sodium phenoxide or a potassium phenoxide as you very well know the phenoxide ion due to the negative charge on oxygen is more reactive it is more activating due to this negative charge on oxygen hence the reaction moves faster that is why the first step is to treat with naoh to lead to the formation of a phenoxide ion followed by this you treat this with chloroform when you treat the sodium phenoxide with chloroform it is this hydrogen which is lost as h and a cl from chloroform so what do you end with you are left with this hydrogen gone you get hch and the two chlorines are left one cl is lost you still have this here fine now the reaction is only at ortho is a question mark which i would answer towards the end of the video why ortho moving ahead this is an intermediate this is not a very stable identity this then again reacts with naoh which you already have in the medium causing hydroxyl transformation of the chloro hydration that is you end up in substitution reactions of the two cls which changes into ch oh and an oh here now this is a geminal diol geminal diols are unstable and they easily lose a water molecule so if this easily loses a water molecule what do you end up with you end up with the formation of c double bond o and nh you get an aldehyde at the ortho position now finally you would add an acid so that this ona changes back to oh and this is your product in the reaction fine focus on this product this product is nothing but salis aldehyde that's the common name the iupac name for this compound would be which out of the two is the major functional group aldehyde so this is a benzaldehyde and this is 2 hydroxy so the name is 2 hydroxy benz aldehyde is the iupac name of the final product this reaction is also known as a reaction of ortho formylation what does it mean you are introducing the formyl group which is the cho at the ortho positions exactly this you have introduced the formyl group at the ortho position during the rima thiamin reaction is the reason why we call it under the category of ortho formylation now as i had said why do we get ortho was an important part of the question which i want you to understand now pay attention now this h can form hydrogen bond to the lone pair of this oxygen it is because of this ortho positioning because of the vicinity of the oh to the aldehyde that there is intermolecular intra sorry it is not inter it would be intramolecular because it is inside the same molecule intramolecular hydrogen bonding 
which takes place and this causes stability to ortho product so we do get only ortho product despite the fact that of phenoxide is an ortho para directing this is an activating group it should be ortho para directing but in this particular reaction we only get ortho as the major product because of the intramolecular hydrogen bonding possible between the oh and the oxygen double bond of the carbons and the lone pair here and the h this causes this molecule to stabilize moving on with the mechanism of the reaction mechanism is not in your cbsc but i am doing it for better clarity of the reaction the step 1 involves the reaction of the base with the chloroform now the cl's pull the electron cloud towards themselves being more electronegative carbon becomes electron deficient hence pulls the electron cloud towards itself hence the base can easily take away the h plus so you are left with it loses water molecule in which you are not interested the oh combines with h plus what you are interested in is your ccl3 with a negative charge this is an unstable identity this loses the chloride ion and you are left with c cl2 along with a lone pair of electrons so your c cl2 along with the lone pair of electrons is your dichloro carbene this is the key intermediate in your reaction or the attacking reagent as you can see in this particular react in this particular reagent carbon has got how many electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 it has got six electrons therefore it is electron deficient therefore it is an electrophile fine so your dichlorocarbene is an electrophile generated in this particular reaction coming to the attack of this dichlorocarbene you have a phenol in the presence of a base like koh or naoh you can write any one of the two you end up in a phenoxide or a potassium salt of phenoxide i would now be taking only the phenoxide ion now this phenoxide ion undergoes resonance to lead to the formation of the reagent that is the lone pair are given here this bond breaks here so if this bond breaks here your dichlorocarbene attacks at this position because this is your electron rich site hence it would lead to the formation of the benzene remains as it is these two bonds not affected your ccl2 comes and attacks here by here you get a double bond with an oxygen but you had a negative charge here so this negative would go to the carbon of the dichlorocarbene fine so this is your intermediate now in this case this benzene is unstable because it has lost the resonance now to get back the resonance what happens is you have a hydrogen here it is this hydrogen which comes the bond elect moves in hydrogen is lost as an h positive and when this bond moves in this bond moves back that means you end up in a structure where you would have the benzene ring complete with the resonance your oxygen gets an o minus while here what exactly happens your i would draw here your c has got two cl's and this h positive goes and attacks the carbon negative so your h comes to this position i am rewriting this product your benzene with the resonance complete o minus i am writing it on this side now ch cl2 this undergoes the reaction with naoh or koh to cause substitution of cl with oh so your o negative as it is ch and you would have two oh groups now these two oh groups are unstable leading to the loss of water molecule as we had done which finally give you the product as o minus and you have a 
CH double bond O. So your product formed is this which then can easily get the H positive in the final acidic medium which you provided with to give you the product which is orthohydroxy benzaldehyde is your product and this product is stable due to this intramolecular hydrogen bonding is the reason that you get major product or the actual product as ortho and you have introduced the formyl group to phenol so it is also called as ortho formylation fine that is all for the mechanism of course this mechanism is not asked in cbse but this part of the mechanism is should be known to you that this is the electrophile and it is the electrophilic attack onto phenol as you very well know phenol may the oh group has lone pairs so it is an electron donating group since it is electron donating group you know the resonating structures so when the electron density goes to the benzene ring the benzene ring becomes electron rich at ortho and para but in this case the electrophile only approaches to the ortho because at the ortho position the product formed is stable due to intramolecular hydrogen bonding with this i end the mechanism class i hope you have understood please keep liking please keep subscribing and do awesomely well in your lives bless you loads bye kids